This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. Alan Roberts was meant to be the victim of a hit on the night of May the 17th last year when James Freeman came to a pub with a firearm. But by the end of the evening, both men would have been shot with the same gun. The prosecution said that Alan Roberts wrestled the gun from James Freeman and then fired at him, shot him twice in the chest while he was on the floor and no longer a threat. Roberts was hit in the groin area by fragments of a bullet, but denies attempted murder and argues everything he did was in self-defense. Forensic analysis of the bullets and the gun made the prosecution believe that Roberts was initially shot when he tried to wrestle the gun, but he deflected off something in his pockets and that could have been a phone or something similar. A jury heard that Freeman, 24 years old, armed himself with a loaded gun and went looking for Roberts, who is 29 years old, at the Old Bank pub in Page Moss area. Freeman is from Highton and he's admitted wounding with intent to cause grievous bodily harm and possessing a firearm with intent to endanger life. Roberts from Everton denied those offences and also attempted murder and he went on trial at Liverpool Crown Court. The prosecution played CCTV of the shooting at the pub in Princess Drive on May the 17th last year and he said that Freeman was on an electric bike and it was outside the old bank and he was hanging around looking for his target, Roberts. At this time, Roberts was in McDonald's with his girlfriend, Miss Price, and Roberts and Miss Price then headed to the pub, where they were standing in the patio area at 8.17pm, and CCTV footage showed Freeman wearing a black coat with his hood and face concealed approached the pub just before 8.18. The defence said that Roberts was wearing a blue jacket and he looked towards Freeman and appeared spooked before he put his hood up and ran into the pub. He said Roberts waited around the corner and in essence he'd be on the door. As Freeman went after him holding the gun in his right hand, it was loaded with at least four bullets. The, the prosecutor said the CCTV showed Roberts grabbing the gun from the hand and there was a tussle and they spilled into the patio area. The court heard that during the tussle the gun went off and this is where they believe that Roberts narrowly avoided getting shot in his groin. The prosecution said that Roberts disarmed Freeman who had been overpowered and alleged that Roberts then had possession of the gun, turned away with his back to Freeman and the QC said that he racked the firearm and that means pulling back the slide to eject a misfired cartridge and then transferring an unfired cartridge into the magazine chamber making it ready to shoot again. This was obviously symbolic of somebody that had an understanding of how firearms worked and especially that particular firearm. They then said that Roberts turned around and shot his would-be hitman and the jurors would hear muzzle flashes. The prosecution said that James Freeman was lying on his back having been overpowered and he was no longer a threat but Alan Roberts shot Freeman twice in the chest at point blank range. He said Roberts put his hood up and ran away with the gun in his hand and to add insult to injury, he even stole the hitman's bike as well. The court heard that Freeman left the pub stumbling off and he appeared to have been beaten up as well, witnesses said. He made his way to the Highton PDSA Pet Hospital on Bark Beth Road where a resident initially thought he was drunk and they called an ambulance. The defence said that Freeman said that I think I've been shot and Freeman was taken to Aintree Hospital suffering from two gunshot wounds to the chest. Both of the bullets are actually still inside Freeman as well so on the opposite side he has got to be the most unluckiest. He missed the shooting and now he's got a bullet lodged in his lung and another in his heart and the surgeon said they believed it was too dangerous to operate and it was actually safer to just leave them where they are. Roberts attended a nearby hospital with his girlfriend and they found that he had a gunshot wound to his left groin but it fragments near to his pelvic bone. He was twice interviewed by police on suspicion of possessing a firearm and also attempted murder. Roberts gave a prepared statement and said I wish to confirm from the outset that I deny all allegations. I have not attempted to murder anybody at any time and this is an alleged incident. I wish to confirm that on the 17th of May 2021 I was acting in self-defence having been shot by an individual who was armed with a firearm. This also resulted in me requiring hospitalisation and all I did was try to use reasonable force to defend myself. And from that point on he made no further comment.
Crime scene investigators went to the pub and recovered cartridges and free bullets and also a misfired bullet, all of which forensic scientists said came from the same gun. Freeman, the hitman, went in search of Roberts with a loaded gun and intended to cause him serious harm and tried to kill him. Roberts then got control of the gun and attempted to murder Freeman. So the prosecution say it's not a case of him disarming James Freeman and taking the firearm and throwing it away. He took it away from him and then committed the same offence that he was trying to do. In short, the prosecution's case was that Alan Roberts tried to kill his adversary in that moment and he made a very good attempt at it by firing not once but twice into his chest. Roberts argued throughout the trial that he acted in self-defence and thought Freeman may be reaching into his pocket for a second weapon, a gun or a knife. Somehow survived and this in both of the men stand trial for attempted murder on each other with the same gun. Three men from Highton admitted wounding with intent to cause grievous bodily harm and also possessing a firearm with intent to endanger life. This was accepted by the prosecution and no further evidence was given for the attempted murder charge. Roberts from Page Moss in Everton denied all three offences in a five-day trial and his barrister Nick Johnson QC told the jury that Freeman was the assassin, he was just the victim and in his closing speech he said the clearest case of self-defence you could ever get is this. The jury cleared Roberts of attempted murder but unanimously found him guilty of two other charges after nearly eight hours of deliberation. He showed no emotion when the verdicts were read and his girlfriend Chloe Price sat in the dark with another woman and they cried. Roberts' younger brother Michael Roberts was also jailed in 2019 for manslaughter in relation to the murder of James Meadows in 2017. He was a heightened teenager and I also covered this story as well. The Crown Prosecution Service heard that Dylan Westall from Whiston and Michael Roberts from Highton shot James Meadows in Highton on 8th of October 2017. James was shot as he rode on the back of a motorbike and the shot was fired from a Mercedes car that was stolen from the Highton area a month before. Westall and Roberts, who is Alan's brother, were in the car at the time of the shooting and Michael Roberts' DNA was found on a bullet casing at the scene. The car was eventually found cut up and abandoned in the Walton area of Liverpool and on the 25th of October 2019, Westall and Roberts were convicted of manslaughter and conspiracy to possess firearms with intent to endanger life. There was many reporting restrictions on the case due to the age of the people that was involved but James Meadows was very young at the time of his killing and of course he didn't deserve what happened to him. So his brother Alan Roberts is very lucky to have gotten away with this case and avoided an attempted murder charge and Freeman is also lucky to have lived and also to have not faced an attempted murder charge and this definitely shows the complicated nature of a court trial and how delicate it is and how little things can get people away with sometimes some people would believe is murder and this is why it's so important to understand the law in the country that, that you live in because you never know when you may fall victim to it. So really appreciate you joining me today. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.